This day's life is very complicated because I start painting, painting in the sense paint my house. So everything everywhere. Like my books are in uh, studio room, my closet is painting, so my all the clothes are in studio room, so I cannot use the studio room, so I cannot do Continuous any recording will now I cannot do any technical videos like studio recording videos for like one or two weeks because my office room is taken everything from my office room is transferred to studio room and office room is busy because TV other camera stands and lighting stands and everything is in office room so I'm a kind of an organized person that means I need things to be where it should be when it is not it's really complicated because like if it take like 15 minutes for me to get ready to go to office now it take 45 minutes because I need to find everything specifically because I cannot like think where it is everything is disorganized right now and I hope things will get better very soon and when I say this someone asks like why you didn't move to a different place until the, this get ready but thing is then problem become worse because right now I need to go to room to room find things but if I move to a different place until this get ready then I need to uh, go to house to house to find my things that's not going to work Today, I want to talk to you guys something. So something is very important because sometimes Actually, I was trying to tell you some different story, but I feel like that the story required a drawing board. I need to like a draw and show it. So I'm not going to tell that story today. I just cut it off. And I'm going to tell you a different story today. So that is how I missed like something I shouldn't have missed and how someone else caught it like it's just a classic catching, right? So this is what happened. I have a project where we use serverless framework to develop this project. So currently we are using Jenkins as a CACD pipeline but we want to kind of go away from the Jenkins. One is like a Jenkins is a, like a decades old technology. And other thing is there are so many things now better than Jenkins. So we are trying to uh, go away from the Jenkins and we are trying out the Git workflow. So what happened? I created a Git workflow for deploy this serverless project. So deploying serverless project is a little bit complicated thing because it required creating resources and so many other things so we created the git uh, pipeline so after implementing this workflow we found a problem that we have a ip based policy where our workflow cannot access the git itself so now we need a solution for that so solution is git provides something called local runner if you want i can do a different video uh, about this how to deploy a serverless project using um, git workflows but this video is out of uh, this video is not to discuss that that's out of this scope 
So now we configure the local runner. So we configure the local runner in the sense that like DevOps team already had the local runner set configured. I kind of a piggyback that. I used that into my workflow and got the worker uh, to run. Then something magically happened. Some services can deploy, but some services cannot deploy. Now why? Why? How that? How that is possible? If it is a always not working it is fine but when sometime working and sometime not working it is really kind of a painful thing so lahiru and myself lahiru is a, a manager so in security side so lahiru and myself tried hours to debug this my hunch was firewall is blocking this actually that was the mistake i did because that is from past experience we did the some sort of a new uh, firewall roll out Ever since then, something is blocking. When I try to do something, it's get blocked. So I was going after this. I was blaming Lahero. You are the problem. You killed my system. You are killing my workflow. Then we talked to DevOps uh, leads and we got the source IPs and destination IPs and uh, like I got Lahero ne sit next to me and uh, running through these logs and tracing and whatever you call it's working. So uh, we can see the traffic is flowing. But sometime we didn't get the reset packet. Then we got uh, Sahan, so uh, one of DevOps lead, to uh, kind of uh, get the their capture, to capture uh, get the packet capture, and we got the packet capture analyzed. Then I can see the reset packet. By then, like time was like uh, seven thirty, and we decided to close the day. And Lahiru agreed. Okay, Rish, I'll go home and I'll test this. I'll test this and I'll get back to you. So that's how we concluded the day. So that is where the magic happened. Good morning. Cafe Latte Tall. Two shots. So actually, uh, I missed well one part of this uh, entire incident. That is, before this, before all those things happened, we were kind of uh, want to isolate this problem. So what we did, we just remove this whatever the IP policy for a moment, like uh, two few minutes, and then we tried with the Git uh, itself, Git native runners, it worked fine. So we ran a few times. It always worked fine with the give nat git native runner, 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 runner <laughs> git native runner. But uh, the moment we put into our local runner set, it created a problem. So we, so we knew for sure the problem is on our side. So now, again back to the previous state. So now we went home, and then I didn't get any update. So next day. I was getting kind of a pressure, uh, right? Because we cannot deploy this. So then, when I reached out to Lahiru, he said, "Krish, I think we solved the problem." And I said, "How? Do we know the problem?" Yes, Pragit figured out this is caused by the Jumbo packet. Oh, it's a burning hot. I usually tell them to put extra hot, but today I forgot to tell Doon. It's not their fault. It's my fault. So. See, sometimes we keep one thing in our head, and we're trying to find evidence to prove it. Pragit and myself, we were looking through the same uh, dump, right? Same packet capture, but I was looking evidence to prove that firewall is blocking. We are trying to make a connection. The connection is not passing through. I was looking evidence to prove that firewall is blocking because that was my suspicious. Nothing wrong with the lahiro, but. When when something newly implement, usually blame goes to that one, the first point. So that is what happened. I was looking for evidence to prove that firewall is blocking. Whereas Pragit was open minded. He was looking. Okay, what is the wrong with this packet capture? He was going through that and he realized at some point we are sending eight thousand byte packets and that blocking. Usually. The fifteen hundred is the maximum limit, and then we keep like because if you are using firewalls or a, 
uh, VPN then there is a 8 byte header like uh, handshaking kind of a space we are usually putting so we don't put uh, 1500 we usually put 1492 as a limit okay here i'm coming from the future so that means this part is after i uh, telling you the story and after i finish the video so because i forgot to mention what is jumbo packet and what is the problem jumbo packet create so jumbo packet or like we call jumbo frame is a concept in a network it's a technology in a network i don't know it's a technology okay it's a thing in the networking where you can uh, uh, send the data with the less packets and so less packet means less cpu overhead and it's it's efficient but the problem comes sometimes some technologies or some frameworks or some infrastructure doesn't support jumbo frame for example if you get the aws aws internet gateway does not support jumbo frames but aws transit gateway and i think aws api gateway do support uh, jumbo frames so the problem we had was so, so since we are going through we didn't use the s3 um, gateway so since you are going through the uh, internet gateway that does not support the standard mtu is a 1500 as i explained before and but if it is a jumbo frame it can go up to 9000 that is why so this is sending 8400 or some sort of a bytes and but it getting dropped from the internet gateway because internet gateway cannot tolerate that internet gateway cannot handle it so that is what jumbo frame jumbo frames are not bad it is designed to get the efficiency but when you use something doesn't support in between your uh, source and destination you get this problem so okay let's go back to the history again from future it's time jump so the moment we added that to our workflow it worked like charm no problem it worked like keep it's keep working <laughs> until today there is no problem with that. So my point is, I didn't want to blame Lahiro, but I wanted to blame the firewall or a network or a, some sort of a security from our side because we isolated it is from the gate to our side. So I was looking for evidence to do that. Whereas Pragit was looking, no, oh, let's see what's, go what's wrong with this. So that is a lesson. It's a good thing. It's a classy finding. I next day I met him and I told Pragit, this is a very classy finding. It's really cool. I would never look into that because I was looking something else. So then uh, I'll see you in another day, in another video, probably another story because uh, my room is still messy. Until that fixed, let's talk about some stories. Stories also some technical stories.